What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another NBA discussion video to bring with you guys. This time actually revolving around should the Golden State Warriors trade Eric Pascal? And again, this is kind of a discussion that I thought would be a very interesting one to talk about, considering there's been a lot of rumors lately that the Warriors would actually be interested in Ben Simmons and Bam Adebayo. And if it, you know, definitely came to it, if they had to trade Eric Pascal to get one of those players, I would have to say 100% go and pull the trigger as those two players would be absolutely perfect for the Golden State Warriors. You know, as you know, as I was talking about it, I don't know if the Bam out of bio video will be up when this one is. It should most likely be. But again, what I was kind of saying in that video, if you guys haven't gone and seen it, is Bam out of bio would literally be the perfect player for the Golden State Warriors. He's a six foot nine small ball type of player that is a great defender. Um, you know, again, he's one of the, probably a top five center in the NBA right now. He's a great scorer. He can play make. He can literally do everything you'd want from a center, except pretty much shoot. He's not the greatest, you know, three-point shooter. He's got a decent mid-range on him, but other than that, you know, again, he's just a, he's a great player, and he's only like 23 years of age. While Ben Simmons is in a very similar, you know, type of aspect where he has a lot of chemistry issues right now on the Philadelphia 76ers, especially with Joel Embiid, and for some reason, the Sixers are looking to prioritize, you know, trading Simmons over Embiid, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. I think Simmons is way more important to the Sixers than what Embiid potentially is. But what the thing is, potentially, if they can get, you know, a couple of these players for maybe Draymond Green, Pascal, and some picks, then 100%, I would go ahead and do it. But yeah, Pascal, obviously, you know, he does actually have some value on him. He had a really nice rookie season. I definitely think he can develop... One thing that a lot of people don't actually know about Eric Pascal is it's, he's not like a 19-year-old or anything like that. He's actually already 23 years of age, and he'll be turning 24. I believe he's actually older than Bam Adebayo and Ben Simmons, which is absolutely insane to think about. Although, he did average 14 points per game, 4.6 rebounds, and 2.1 assists. Looks to be a decent defender here and there. That was coming off the bench behind Draymond Green on 27.6 minutes per game. He obviously has a three-point range. It's not exactly that good. It's still developing 28% from three. And he's got a nice mid-range, though, 55% from, you know, two-point shots. So, again, it's a pretty interesting one when you do go and look at it. But if they could, you know, go and actually trade Eric Pascal to the Miami Heat or maybe even the Philadelphia 76ers for Bam Adebayo and Ben Simmons, 100% go and pull the trigger. That would be, you know, perfect. Again, as I just said... Eric Pascal has been really good in his, you know, first season with the Golden State Warriors, but he is 23 years of age, turning 24, and he's literally older, I do believe, than what Ben Simmons and Bam Adebayo are. I know Bam Adebayo is 100%, you know, he's 23 years of age. He literally, Bam is still really young, and he's already like a top five center in the NBA, which is crazy to, you know, actually go and think about. But actually, yeah, Ben Simmons is 24, so he's a little bit older than what Eric Pascal is, but... Again, not far off it, and both of those players are all-stars that could be on the trade block very soon. You know, again, some of you at home might be like, well, why would the Miami Heat trade um, Bam out of buy? Well, there's actually been a rumor that they're not going to be extending him for a, a, you know, a year or so, and a lot of teams are actually going to be extremely interested in trying to trade for him. Of course, I don't think the Miami Heat are going to be wanting to trade Bam out of bio. I think it would be literally ridiculous if they did it. You know, again, with the Sixers as well, I don't think they're going to want to trade Ben Simmons. I think it'd be ridiculous if they did it. But yeah, there have been a lot of trade rumors with these two players. And, you know, some journalists have been saying that they're interested in them as well. So, I, again, I'm not exactly too sure. I think it would be quite ridiculous if something like that, you know, did happen. But... If the, if the Golden State Warriors can, you know, package Draymond Green, a couple first-round picks, and Eric Pascal, and maybe Jordan Poole for one of these two players, then 100% go and pull the trigger. Now, what other teams would be interested? I have a feeling the Cleveland Cavaliers might be, you know, a little bit interested. Of course, they've got Kevin Love and Big Bad Andre Drummond on their team, too. Both players would actually be pretty nice for the Golden State Warriors. They don't really fit the small ball type of system that they've been going around. But we have heard the Golden State Warriors be interested in Kevin Love before. We haven't really heard much on, on uh, Andre Drummond. But yeah, if you know if they look to try and trade Eric Pascal and maybe a first round pick for Kevin Love, 
I definitely think the Cavs would actually be willing to potentially do that. Obviously, they get a young player in Eric Pascal who's still on his rookie deal, and they can get a pick that would maybe be like pick 25 to 30, depending on where the Golden State Warriors obviously finish next season. So... Again, the Cavaliers would save $30 million in cap space while getting a young player and a nice pick. So I definitely think the Cavs would be, um, you know, pretty interested in kind of doing maybe a deal for Eric Pascal. Obviously, you know, the Sixers and the Miami Heat, if they were to get offered a trade, you know, as I said, I definitely think there might be a little bit of interest potentially there. Um, besides that, I'm not exactly too sure what other teams might be interested. The Chicago Bulls may be, you know, pretty keen Considering they might be looking to trade, you know, Laurie Markin, there's been a rumor that Markin will actually be requesting a trade. So, if, you know, if the Chicago Bulls could maybe get Eric Pascal, who's an instant replacement, maybe a couple second round picks or something for Laurie Markin, then that might be a deal where, you know, they actually look to, you know, potentially try and do as well. So, again, Chicago Bulls, they could be a team that could be potentially interested in him here and there. The Pistons, who have, you know, Blake Griffin and Christian Wood. I'm sure the Golden State Warriors might be interested in a couple of those players. If they could get maybe Eric Pascal back, then, yeah, again, I think the Pistons could be potentially interested in him. But other than that, I'm not exactly too sure at all what teams would be really interested in, you know, Eric Pascal. So, again, I'm definitely sure there's going to be a lot of teams that are going to be out there that will, of course, be interested in Eric Pascal, but I feel like the Miami Heat and the Philadelphia 76ers are going to be the main two at the moment, just based on the fact that he would be a piece I think both teams would be, you know, kind of interested in, obviously, getting alongside Draymond Green if there was a Ben Simmons and Bam Adebayo deal that would potentially arise. But anyone, to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest NBA news and NBA content. Don't forget to comment in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts and opinions on this? Do you guys think it would be a good idea by, you know, the Sixers or maybe the uh, Miami Heat to be interested in Eric Pascal? Should the Golden State Warriors be actually looking to try and trade him? Or do you guys think they should be trying to keep him? Again, I definitely would really like to know your thoughts and opinions on this all down below. But also don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my iRoll Sacks Long channels. Links for them will all be in the description down below. And definitely don't forget to check out my podcast as well if you haven't already. Links for them will all be in the description down below. But as I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.